How many millions are in a billion? I don't know. I, I heard so many versions. Is it a million millions or a thousand millions? I have no idea. The video is about to start. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. There we go! And welcome to Gustavo's World. And here is Burbujita, your co host. Hi, everyone. And today we're going to touch a subject that, I don't know, it's very curious to me. We're going to talk about billions. Because even though it's a number that most of the people won't be talking about because it's not in the reach of our economy or whatever, we're not governments, we do hear once in a while the term billions. And what is exactly a billion? Do you know? Well, it depends on what language do you speak and where in the world are you located. Millions, billions, trillions. The word billion was not introduced in the English language until the late 14th century. The word billion in the 15th century by the French and the word trillion in the 17th century. Even though this world came really late in the counting world, we're gonna talk first about what words were used before we use the words millions, billions, and trillions. Before the word million, we didn't have a word that would say such a number. Yet in old Greece, in classic Greece, we used to have the word myriad. A myriad used to mean 10,000. And there was a larger number, which was a myriad of myriads, which meant 10,000 multiplied by 10,000. But that was it them. Now the word myriad means a countless or extremely great number. But again, it's not what it used to mean in classic Greece. What is exactly a billion? So again, depending on where in the world are you, what, in what time of the history were you born? And what language do you speak? For example, a billion is described by some as 10 to the potence 9. And for other people, it would be 10 to the potence 12. So that means that some people think that a billion has nine zeros, and other people think that a billion has 12 zeros. So the people that think that has nine zeros are the Americans and anybody that speaks English. Even though in the UK, in the 70s, uh, they went from calling it from 12 zeros to nine zeros. So there is a big discrepancy and you have to be very careful when you check into English documents that were written before 1974 actually, because the values are different. And the whole mess came because of the emergence of two systems to count numbers, the long system and the short system. So let's say that the long system was established in the world way before the short system. The long system was invented by the mathematician called Chouquet, and he invented in which the prefix of the world would be in the Latin names like by, try, and by the suffix "ilion," so you will be having billion, trillion, quadrillion, etc. And the exponents of these numbers were increased by the million. So in this long scale, we have that one billion is 
the next potence after one million. So it would be that you have one million, you have the number one, then you have number million, and then you have the number billion. But the billion is a million of millions according to the long scale. The long scale is utilized in all the countries except Asia that don't speak English. Basically, the short scale is a scale in which x exponents of the numbers go by the thousand. So the first number would be one, the other number would be a thousand, and then the next number would be a million, and the next number would be a billion. But this is where things start getting out of whack, because a billion, as you know, in the other scale, in the long scale, is one million millions. But in the short scale, a billion is one thousand millions. This is where the word billion in the long scale becomes in one trillion in the short scale. And this is why Wall Street, tired of all this confusion, created the world yard. A yard is one billion. One billion, which is uh, the same amount in all scale, numeric scales, which is 1,000 million. Well, let's review the numbers in the short scale, right? So 10 to the potent zero is one, 10 to the potent one is 10, 10 to the potent two is 100, 10 to the potent three is 1,000, 10 to the potent six, is a million, 10 to the potence 9 is a billion, 10 to the potence 12 is a trillion, 10 to the potence 15 is a quadrillion, 10 to the potence 18 is a quintillion, 10 to the potence 21 is a sextillion, 10 to the potence 24 is a septillion. This is my favorite part where we're going to start counting in the numbers in the long scale which is the one that to me makes sense so 10 to the potent 0 is 1 10 to the potent 1 is 10 10 to the potent 2 is 100 10 to the potent 3 is 1000 10 to the potent 6 is a million and so far it's the same well, this is when things get out of whack, it gets, it makes no sense to me. So now, 10 to the potence 6, as we say, is a million, but 10 to the potence 9, which in the short scale is a billion, we call it a milliard. And then 10 to the potence 12 would be a billion, and then 10 to the potence 15, would be a, a billiard. Then 10 to the potence 18 is a trillion. 10 to the potence 21 is a trilliard. And 10 to the potence 24 would be a quadrillion. So basically, what in the short scale is a billion, in the long scale is a milliard. You understand? But this is where we are, very confusing. And then for us to understand why we're calling these numbers what we're calling it. So in the long scale, one million to the one is one million. One million square or to the two is one billion. So because the number by means two, right? And then one trillion would be one million to the third and then a quadrillion will be one billion one million to the fourth and so forth 
So you do you do you see how it makes sense in the long scale why we call the numbers the way we do? Uh, they just simply short out of place or coherence, I would say, in the short scale. Unless you were th taught the short scale forever and you don't know anything else and for you it makes sense, but now that you know why it was originally named so, it's going to bother you probably. <laughs> or not, but it bothers me because I wish everything would be in the long scale. Well, I hope that now at least you know a little bit more about billions, trillions, millions, milliard, right? It's good to know. I mean, now <laughs> I hope you're not more confused. I am more clear, actually. And it's depending on where you are that now you know what numbers they're referring to. So thank you very much for navigating with me in this numerical voyage or sojourn and I hope again that you're more clear about it and thank you very much for watching Gustavo's World. Uh, don't miss our next video which is gonna be fun as always and you're gonna learn something more about life in general. Usually I teach things that you didn't think you have to know but once you know them you're thankful you learned. Thank you very much and have a great time until our next video. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, share. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. That's clicking on the little bell. Comment all you want. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to grow the community. <laughs> and also, don't forget to follow our social media. And if you want to go ahead and share this video in all your platforms, share the love. Till next time! Bye! Bye.